Hello, my art friends, and welcome to our little Halloween art project. We're going to need a couple of supplies for today. We're going to need a glue stick and some scissors. We're also going to need something to draw with. You can use markers or crayons or even colored pencils. You're going to need different colors of paper. You're going to need two different greens, and you'll see why in just a moment. You're going to need white, and you're also going to need black. And then I like to use a big piece of orange for the background. All right, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to set my paper aside with the exception of my two green pieces of paper. Now, you can draw yourself a U on there, or since you already know what a U looks like, I'm just going to cut out a U in my paper. So, a big old U. I'm going to come down, and mine are two different sizes. Yours hopefully will be the same size. I'm going to cut a big U that's the same size, just like this. Mine's a little bit different size, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the top off there, just like so. Now that I've got my two exactly the same pieces of green paper, I'm going to decide which one of those I'm going to cut in half. Now, when I cut here, I'm not going to cut straight across or straight up. I'm going to cut from the bottom, work my way up on a diagonal, just like so. Decided I'm going to cut my light green, but you may have cut your dark green. I'm going to start by cutting out a little bit, curve it back, and do waves all the way up. Just like so. Now I'm going to take my background paper, which is going to be my green or my orange paper, excuse me. I'm going to take my glue. I'm going to flip over my green piece of paper, my green U, and I'm going to cover it really good with some glue stick. You can use liquid glue, Elmer's glue, all different kinds of glue. Get your parents' permission, of course, or your teacher's permission before you get out the glue, just because it can tend to get a bit messy. All right. And I decided to put it about, about mid-page, about right there. Uh, there works good. All right. Now, with my other half, I'm going to make sure I flip it so it fits correctly. It looks like I cut that piece. Now, you did end up with two green pieces. You can decide which one you like better. Oh, you know what? I think I, no, nope, I'm going to stick with this first one. All right, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing on there. However, this is going to go on top of my darker green. And if you did it the opposite way, that's fine. Yours would be the light green uh, with the dark green on top. Either one is fine. It will work the same either way. Okay, I'm going to line it up so it hits right on the edges because it's the same shape and size, just like so. There we go. All right. Now, we don't want to throw away our scrap papers yet because we need a neck on this guy. So I'm going to take a look and see. It looks like my guy goes about right to there. So right there should be good. And I'm going to do a very similar thing here. I'm going to glue that neck down there. I'm going to take my glue. Now remember, we don't throw away our scrap paper yet because we're going to use it from some of the other parts here. All right. There we go like so, and I'm going to add waves to this one, but now I'm going to stick it on the opposite side. I like mine to be opposite on each and every side because he's put together by a scientist, so I like him to look like he's got a bunch of different pieces. Now, if you mess up, don't worry. You've got more scraps you can use. Start over on the other piece. Nothing wrong with making a mistake here and there. You can always go back with the scrap pieces. All right. I'm going to stick this neck up in there. Now I've got a two-tone neck on my guy. 
Now I'm going to decide on his hair. Now I like my guy. I'm going to use the black for the hair. And if I, I should have marked this first, but that's okay. I know it's going to go to right about here. Just a hair bigger. Hey, okay. now I'm going to cut up. And you want to give your guy a flat top. I'm going to give mine a little bit of curl here. Oh, I'm going to give him one long curl. Comes down in front of his face. But this is your hair. You design it how you want. You're all the stylist here. You get to style your own monster. All right. Now I can decide how do I want his hair to go. Oh, I think I like it like that. That's what we're going to do. All right. Same thing. Stick our glue on that black piece. Make sure you go down however you made it to cover all those spots. All right, mine's a little gothic. He's got a, his hair down in front of maybe one of his eyes. All right, okay. Going to go now to the black, and I'm going to give him a mouth. Mine is going to have a, well, let's see. I think I'm going to do mine with a open mouth, but I want it to be the same on both sides. To do that, I fold my paper in half. I've got some black left, and I'm going to cut, cut a circle. And again, we can always change this as we go. So if this doesn't work, uh, that's a little bit big for a mouth. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. That's the great thing about paper. As long as you don't cut too small the first time, you can always cut a little bit more off. There we go. Okay. Yep, I like that mouth. So I'm going to use some more glue. Make sure you get that glue on there nice and good. Okay. All right, we've got a few more things to do. We've got to get the eyes. So you do have your white paper. I will say fold it uh, not all the way in half because we're going to be doing some teeth and some eyes now. All right, as you see, I folded mine in half. I want to get my eyes on there. I'm going to give him, my eyes are kind of oval. Let's see. Oh, I got him two round of eyes. Great thing. I can cut them again. Oh, I think I got them too small now. So, not a problem. These will make great teeth. Getting some chompers in there. Oh, he's got one tooth up there. Maybe I'm going to do a full set of teeth, or maybe I'm just going to give him two teeth. I want to make him a little silly. All right. And this time, I'm going to just try to cut a shape that I like for an eye without folding. See if that works better for me. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see if I can cut another one. I'm going to make this one a little bigger. I thought that one was a little too small. Oh, I like this eye, I think. I think I like this eye. I do. Since I like this eye, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper over that cut. I want this eye to be almost the same. Now, yours don't have to be exactly the same. It's your monster, your world. Just make it how you want to make your monster. Okay, I'm going to cut out this eye. Gonna be pretty close to the same shape. All right. Now, the way we put his eyes is gonna determine if he's a weird looking monster, a happy or a sad. It's all up to you and how you design your monster. And I like that I have his hair a little bit long. I think I'm gonna try to stick it so part of his eye goes underneath his hair on this side. <laughs> like that. All right. Okay, we've got some teeth. We've got eyes, oh, but we need to take our markers or our crayons 
And we've got our pupils of our eyes. I'm going to do those as black. Makes him come alive. All right. And again, I like to have them mismatched. So I'm going to give him possibly a blue and a green eye. And it looks like somebody borrowed my green or my green grew legs and walked away. One or the other. Who knows? Who knows what happened to it? Okay. Got a blue eye there, and somebody took my green. Doggone it. Well, I'm going to give him a brown eye. He's got a blue and a brown eye. There we go. He's lots of mismatched colors on my monster. All right. I'm going to take my red. I'm going to give him just a couple veins in his eye. You don't have to give him veins if you don't want to. You can choose whether or not he has those. Now, I like to give mine a couple stitches on his face, too. I'll give him one right here. Just do a little plus. So let's make this one a little bigger. Uh, I'll give him one over here as well. Uh, let's see, maybe one that goes across his nose, showing that he is stitched together. There we go. Don't do too many. If you get too many on there, he kind of looks like a chicken scratch, but I would say no more than four. No more than four stitches. All right, there's one more thing that you'll see when you see a Frankenstein-type monster, and it's a bolt in his head. So I'm going to cut out a bolt. You can watch how to cut it. Really no right or wrong way to cut it. All right, when I cut my bolts, I like them to be a bit of a rectangle. And then I like to put a top on them, almost like a T. It, actually, it is a T, a kind of a big size T. And let me cut down there and across here. All right, I'm going to glue that on there, just like I've glued everything else. Over on this side. All right, one last thing. We gotta give him a name. I like to give him the same name every year. It's up to you if you wanna give a little bit different, but this is like a Picasso painting. So I'm gonna show you how to write his name, kind of spooky, Frankenstein-ish, and then send me pictures of yours. I'd love to see what you create. All right, I like to call him with wavy lines, especially for this season. He, I, C A spooky A S S O and then Frank F R A N Hey. All right, my friends. Can't wait to see what you create. Send them to me. I love to see your artwork. Have a great rest of your day and keep practicing your art. You only get better with practice. See you next time.